This segment is sponsored by Virginia Museum of Fine Arts. Visiting the Virginia Museum of Fine Arts to enjoy the Dirty South exhibit currently on exhibition through September 6th. I'm here with Karen Getty. Karen, this exhibition is incredible. So many things to see and absorb and enjoy, but right alongside this exhibition is this full lineup of incredible programming. Absolutely. The VMFA offers a wide range of programs and we offer it for all age groups. Um, our slogan is from infants to infinity. Um, so just as an example, some of the programs that our adult audiences might enjoy are um, our film series, which is going to be outdoors in the Poly Center Sculpture Garden in the lawn. Um, it is, uh, there is a cost and people can find tickets online. They can register there. So that's really going to be great and encourage a great sense of community connected to this, this exhibition, Dirty South. Another program that adults might want to check out is our virtual um, lecture series. So that's our, a virtual option. It is free and tickets will need to be reserved in advance online. Um, and that's really a, a great series of conversations between curators, scholars, musicians, visual artists. So I think audiences will really enjoy that. And then for our family audiences with kids uh, of all ages actually, um, we have our family day that's coming up on August 1st. Um, that's going to be from 1 to 4 p.m. in the afternoon. We're going to have an on-site and a virtual option. So depending your comfort level, you can engage either way. Um, and we'll have, if you come in person, we'll have in-person performances, some art bags to, to send away with the kids. Um, so it's going to be a great time. Yeah. Karen, as we really all get used to coming back to be able to enjoy the gem that is the Virginia Museum of Fine Arts, it's wonderful to have this exhibition up and running. And you've, you've tackled one of those questions that I had for you. As we get in line with what's available, there will be in-person and virtual options. Yeah, that's right. We're, it's not either or. We're doing a combination. As many people know, as we continue uh, with the COVID-19 pandemic, we want to be considerate of everybody's uh, safety and health so to take precautions we're doing a combination for example we're not going to be offering guided tours this summer uh, for groups we're going to hold off until the fall but our studio classes are going to be in person so some differences so I encourage uh, visitors who are interested to check online to find out those distinctions I think we've all gotten very adept at making sure that we stay up to speed and checking in because with a space like Virginia Museum of Fine Arts and this Dirty South exhibit, you want to make sure you're right on top of everything that's available. It continues through September 6th and it's a great opportunity to come in. What I always find fascinating is that there is so much to see and absorb in the exhibition, but the programs are developed specifically to enhance and to really continue that conversation. Absolutely. As educators educators here, we make it a point to align our objectives for our programs with uh, our permanent collection and our special exhibitions. So we always want to try to engage our visitors with these objects that are so great in, in new and exciting ways. So we've got a great range. But you said from infant to infinity, it's all here, ready for everybody That's to right. enjoy. That's right. And for more information, uh, if I, you know, if you want to learn more, you can go to BMFA. Um, dot museum our website so a great space to visit and so is this the dirty south yeah. exhibit continuing through september 6th here at the virginia museum of fine arts thanks so much karen thank you we'll share all the information so you can learn more on the website and plan your visit today virginia museum of fine arts is located at 200 north arthur ash boulevard in richmond programs are offered through september 6 2021 for more information give them a call 804-340-1400 you can visit them online at vmfa.museum and find them on facebook.com slash my vmfa on twitter.com slash vmfa and on instagram.com slash vmfa museum Museum. Wow, what a great resource that place is. And like a lot of folks, I haven't been in a while. So I can't wait to get back in there again. It was incredible going in to yeah. visit with the team to put this story. And I've talked with some of the other team members too, put those together because you go back in and they've curated this incredible exhibit that is so timely and so on point. It's interesting because I, the last time I was there was when the monks were doing the thing with the sand mm -hmm. and, you know, the, and talk about 
completely different worlds yeah. in the same space doing things. It's just so, you know, it's, you, if you go in there and you can soak up some of that knowledge and information and beauty and whatever they've got on display there, it really does, it does kind of blow your mind sometimes to go in and watch and look. Yeah, no matter what strikes your fancy about right. it, like if this is, you know, if the, if the, the pure, uh, prior exhibit was it or this is, is it content wise, I find it fascinating that they're able to make over that space, right? You're always walking into the same rooms and yet they've been completely redefined, re-envisioned, all of it. Yeah, the last time I was there, there was, an art, there was a piece of art from 3,000 years ago. Yeah. And now we've got American art from, you know, 100 years ago, 150 years. It's just amazing that they do such, an, such a great job there. And it's really air conditioned inside. It is really air conditioned. <laughs> My challenge, two challenge spots for me at the VMFA. One, yeah. walking by that incredible gift shop. Always got to go in there and visit. And they yeah. always have such really cool things put together in there that'll, you know, float your boat. And then, of course, a muse, right? If you've been into a muse, uh, and I'm not 100%, I should have looked before I said that, uh, what their hours are, if they've reopened, how all that's coming together. I'll do a little research to, to do an update on that one. But a muse has such great creations. And sometimes there's synergies between the exhibit yep. and then what the menu together. is offering. Yeah, they tie it all together. Mm -hmm. Great. We like VMFA. Yeah, a little. <laughs> <laughs> it shows us just a little bit. <laughs> well, stay with us. We still have much more in store on this Monday morning. Virginia this morning. We'll be right back here on CBS 6. Stay right here with us.